Facebook's motivation is not making money off the currency. Facebook's motivation is, let's create a small microeconomy for the two billion people that are currently not covered and that have a need to make financial transactions. This motivation potentially increases stability to the currency because you don't have that speculation aspect. However, it raises a whole host of questions as to whether or not we would trust these superpowers, Facebook um, at first and foremost, to have this sensitive financial data for this population. In, in many ways, it's, it, it's an important phase in terms of where these things are going because there is that um, unbanked population and that unbanked population should be banked and there are a lot of problems that this will alleviate for this unbanked population such as uh, small transactions, uh, foreign transaction fees. Facebook has to overcome, has to convince people to, to trust Facebook. It has to convince the founding members or this council, which again sounds like this divine council of super gods, to, uh, to trust Facebook. They have to trust each other. They have to work together. And then Facebook has to convince us that not only uh, should we not worry about privacy concerns when we share stories or when we browse the internet through the social networking, but financial transactions are now safe as well. That's a big, that's a very tall order. I mean, Facebook's infrastructure and technology uh, will allow the, the, the currency to be more stable, will allow many more transactions per second, for example, will allow more stability. But the way this is monitored is going to require a lot more, especially in the, face, in the face of all these investigations into privacy concerns. The main issue is dominance over this, this uh, population or access to this population, right? Facebook makes a lot of money over marketing. If you have access to two billion more people, that's a lot of marketing. And if you lose access to them, you're going to start losing this population and it'll spread throughout the network. And I think what you really want is reliability and trust. And the bottom line question is, is Facebook the company that uh, should lead the charge for a trustworthy uh, financial um, system for the um, unbanked population, which, of course, they hope will grow beyond that.